what I'm going to do is go briefly through the steps of programming the Real Estate Version 2 application uh, to give you a model for what to do with your assignment. Now you should look at the um, video preparing for assignment three first before you look at this one. Okay, so I've got a blank, not quite blank, but pretty much blank workbook here. And what I'm going to do first is rename these sheets. So I double clicked and I'm calling this one sales. And this one I'm calling names. And you can see what I've already put the names of the agents and the neighborhoods in here. And now, um, let's try this. Define name. Okay, so I'm going to call this um, agents. And this one, define name, I'm going to call sales. Uh, sorry, neighborhoods. Okay, so you saw how to do that and look at the name, the, the actual definition here. It's got names with an exclamation point and then the uh, not rel the absolute name of the, of the uh, range that I've selected. Okay, so that's done. Now, Let's go to Visual Basic, and I've already inserted a, a user form using this button, but I've, and I've named it FRM Real Estate V2. Uh, and that's done. Okay, and I've also changed the caption. So the name and the caption are different. I changed both of them to form real estate V2, but that's not really what I want. I want the caption just to say real estate version two because this is what the user sees. It shouldn't be some gobbledygook of a programming name. Okay, and I wanna make this bigger. So let's just make this window bigger. Okay. Now the other thing I've already done, if, um, you look at the code for this workbook, which I can do here. I already have written the code to uh, put the headings into the sales sheet. And I explained this in the previous video, the one I'm preparing for assignment three. So uh, as you're working on yours, this would be your next step to go ahead and create a similar uh, piece of code for your uh, workbook and notice this goes in the this workbook code area. Okay, so we've got this done. And what we want to do is go back to the form and start putting controls on it. So um, what we're going to need is uh, a label and a list box, first of all, for choosing the agent. So let's select a label. Put it on here. Now I'm not going to use this label in my program, so I won't mess around with the name, but I want the caption to say, select an agent. Push enter, and there it is. Probably it doesn't need to be that long. Okay, and now I want a list box to go with it, so I'll choose a list box over here, and I want to try to make it big enough that it shows all the agent names. Um, so this is my list box. I am going to name it LST um, Agent. And it has a row source property. So I'm going to say the row source is my range that I just named Agents. Okay. And there it is. Now I can size it appropriately. Okay. Next, I need another label, and I want to say in the caption, select a neighborhood. All right, move this back a little, and let's get a list box for that.
And here we want for our row source, our range we named neighborhoods. Now I didn't have to do it this way. I could have written lines of code where each line of code inserts something in this list box and that would be equally good. I just wanted to show you how to do this. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is um, enter the dollar amount. So let me make a label for that. And over here, Okay, give me two lines. Let's make it a little bigger. And I, you know what? Let's go back. I think I forgot to name this guy. Yes, I did. So I'm going to name it LST Neighborhood. Okay. All right. Back to this. Enter the dollar amount. Now, to do that, I want to use a text box. So let's find, um, here it is, the tool for that. And we'll just set up a text box. And because we're going to refer to it in the program, we'll give it a name. So I'm going to call it TXT amount. Okay. Then um, we want to choose the commission type. Now the commission type is um, uses option buttons and it's shared or solo. So we're going to need two option buttons. So let's pick an option button and put it over here. And I'm going to change the caption to say solo. And I'm going to give it a name, OPT solo. All right. And then I need another one. So by clicking here, I make the toolbox show up. Let's pick another option button. And... Um, this one is going to be for shared. So I'll make the caption say shared. And for the option button's name, I'm going to call it OPT shared. Okay. Now these are mutually exclusive choices. Let me group them up here a little. And so, um, actually, let's line these up over here. Sorry, but I like it to look nice. Uh, we're going to need a, a group box, a uh, frame for this. Oops. Okay, and I see I need to move them in this way. Okay, now they're grouped in the frame, and when I move the frame, they should move. Okay, and the frame has a caption. I'm not going to change its name because, oh, let's make sure the frame is what's selected. All right. Uh, okay, caption. It's going to say choose mission type. So instead of um, having a separate label, I'll just use the caption on the frame to say what to do there. And uh, let's make some room here. Um, okay, now I also want to give a couple of other options. So these are the bonus options and um, I'm going to need check boxes for that. So let's find the check box. This looks like it. Yep. Okay, and we'll put one here. Um, this one will be for um, a bonus. And we want it to say bonus. Okay. And now um, we need a couple more. Let's make our frame first, though. So getting a frame. And this is going to, I don't care about the name, but I do care about the caption. I wanted to say uh, choose mission extras and I'll stick the bonus in there. OK. 
okay and um, let's get this lined up I'll put the others in later if I have time and uh, the frame remember is optional with these check boxes because you can select as many as you want okay I also want to create a button so I'm going to pick the command button put it down here and I want it to say on the caption process entry and of course I want to give it a, give it a name so um, I just need something suitable I'll call it button push all right uh, let's call it button entry all right so I basically have my user interface constructed now once I've done that I need to write some code for the user interface and for that I need to go to the code for this guy so just to remind you here's the code for the workbook okay here's the actual form and here's the code for the form which I can get to by right-clicking here and saying view code all right um, so I actually to avoid taking a lot of time with typing I have a document here where I, I think it's this one yeah all right so these are my constant definitions and my user form initialize subroutine so let me copy that and I'll come over here and paste it okay so what am I doing here I'm setting up constants uh, the regular rate the shared rate uh, the bonus rate and the finder fee for the Commission and uh, when the user form starts opens up then what I'm doing here is um, activate the sales sheet so I don't have to keep writing sales exclamation in front of everything and now for the um, user form on my different buttons I have my um, option solo button and what I'm doing here is adjusting the caption so if you remember I just wrote the word solo on it now what I'm doing is changing it so it says solo and it actually includes what the rate is same thing for shared and then I've got um, a couple of other these I already put the bonus one in excuse me so now I'm going to just comment this out because I'm not ready to use it yet and um, let's test this much now this is important I've already done a lot of stuff without testing and I really should have tested before so what I'm going to do is go over to the actual workbook um, go to the sales sheet and on my macros I'm going to run this guy okay this opened up I see my stuff so that's cool and I noticed that my captions now are showing the amounts just like I wanted them to um, so I haven't written code for the rest of this so I can't expect anything else to happen but this assures me that at least as much is working properly okay this is going to be continued in the next video